Sam, Foghorn Leghorn, Sylvester, Marvin the Martian, Porky Pig, Yosemite Sam, the owner and coach. He does so many good voices. You know him from Kevin and Bean. Give it up for Ralph Garman. My memories of Space Jam is that uh, uh, Michael Jordan couldn't act. Uh, this was pretty much the death of the Looney Tunes as far as I was concerned and not nearly enough Marvin the Martian. Playing Muggsy Bogues. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Jordan, umpire and Marcus, the very funny Gerard Carmichael. Yeah. Yeah. Playing the character of Zilch, the incomparable, <laughs> Ben Schwartz. <laughs> what I remember is the rap music. I remember the Monstars, I remember Bugs Bunny. I remember Michael Michael Jordan, at the first like third of the movie is baseball, which I don't care about. I'm, I don't know if that's what the script is gonna happen today. And I remember it being quite possibly the best movie of all time. Wilma, playing Wilma Bunny, Juanita, Nick Van Axel, Woman, <laughs> Danielle Fischel. I've never really heard of, a, of a something like this. I think it's really exciting, especially for an animated movie, to do a live table read of it. I'm really excited to see the crowd response, and uh, I'm excited to see what everybody brings to it. So I think it's going to be great. Playing Daffy Duck and Bill Murray, Nick Kroll. <laughs> What I remember about Space Jam is that I've never seen it. I've never seen the movie Space Jam. And so, um, I looked on YouTube to see what Daffy Duck was like. So I've seen seven or eight minutes of Space Jam on YouTube. Playing the role originated by Wayne Knight Stan, <laughs> Paul Shear. <laughs> and playing Bugs Bunny, Seth Green. <laughs> This is one of those things where I was just like, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen here, but since I was asked to be a part of it, I'm going to be a part of it. <laughs> Playing the role of Charles Barkley and Swackhammer, <laughs> the Los Angeles Clippers' DeAndre Jordan. I remember the Monstars the most. Uh, and uh, I remember when Michael Jordan jumped from the half court, stretched out his arm and up at the end, and that he said, oh shit. Not a lot of kids saw so that though. Hi, Michael Jordan. You're Michael Jordan. Blake Griffin. I actually had a birthday party themed around Space Jam as a child. I had a Space Jam cake and uh, everything. So this is a pretty good one. Here we go. We fade in on the Jordan home. It's, <laughs> it's 1973 and it's night. It's the driveway of a modest yet tidy home. A 10-year-old boy, Michael Jordan, is shooting a basketball at a makeshift goal <laughs> with supreme determination. The scene is lit only by moonlight. <laughs> Michael, what are you doing out here? It's after midnight. I couldn't sleep, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither can we with all this noise you're making. Now come on inside. Just one more shot, Pops. Michael shoots and misses. <laughs> <laughs> Zilch types in the word L-O-O-N-E-Y into a TV remote. <laughs> <sighs> a classic Looney Tunes cartoon fills the screen. Yeah, now you're talking. Get the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Not done. <laughs> Bring them here. Uh, they're from Earth, sir. What if they don't want to come? Make them. A corporate spaceship with the Moron Mountain logo blasts off, hurling towards Earth, zeroing in on North America, going faster and faster, heading right towards us. I Strike? mean, that was one of the best strikeouts I've ever seen. I just look awful when I strike out. Guys, I appreciate it. But I whiffed, okay? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Jordan! Michael looks up. <laughs> <laughs> Michael looks up, sees a face hanging upside down over the dugout roof. It belongs to Stan Podolak, 30, a sweaty, disheveled-looking hack. D uh, hell of a nice cut. He does a backflip down into the dugout and pumps Michael's hand. Stan Podiak, Mr. Jordan, I'm the Baron's new publicist. I'm here to make your life easier. I'll drive you anywhere you want. I'll pick up your laundry, babysit your kids. You name it. No one's going to bother you. You're bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Mike. If I irritate you, just tell me. If you got a problem, I want to hear about it. I got a problem. You do? You're blocking my view. Oh, sorry. He, he moves and some fans are leaning over the dugout roof trying to take Michael's picture. Hey, get out of here. Beat it. Give the man some space. <laughs> Don't you people have any respect? I hate that. People who think getting close to a famous person is going to make them famous. It's so uncool. One small step for moi, one giant step for moron mountain. <laughs> 
and one big headache for Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for Bugs Bunny. Have you seen him? Bugs Bunny, huh? Does he have a cute little furry tail like this? Yeah. And does he got long ears like this? Yeah, he's got long ears. Yeah, does he hop around like this? Yeah. And does he say, what's up, Doc, like this? <laughs> what's up, Doc? Yeah. Nah, I ain't seen him. <laughs> <laughs> the alien spaceship is parked out front. Inside, Bugs and Elmer Fudd, heavily shackled, are being held at gunpoint by the aliens on the auditorium stage. The rest of Looney Tunes characters watch from the audience. Daffy is angry. So, what's the big emergency? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be more serious. <laughs> These five little guys want to kidnap us and force us to work in their theme park and out of space. The Warner's characters all burst out laughing. Gunshots ring out. Yosemite Sam stands on a chair. You and what army? Zilch takes out his phaser and disintegrates Yosemite's guns. Then he zaps Yosemite, shrinking him down to six inches. What, in tarnations? <laughs> well, the way I see it. How about we challenge them to a debate, debate, uh, debate, uh, debate, uh, debate? Uh, a debate. <laughs> you again. Suffering fuck attacks! What's wrong with all of you? I say we get a ladder, wait till the old lady's out of the room, and then we grab that little bird. <laughs> All the fans and players stare at Charles as the coach comes onto the floor and leads him towards the bench. You need a rest. I've been playing you too many minutes. I'm not hot. <laughs> as Barkley reaches the sideline, a Suns player tries to high five him. Barkley high fives him back and misses and hits him in the face. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> My hand slipped. Get the Perfect. Uh, the aliens watch Patrick Ewing sink an amazing shot. Daffy is propelled a few rows up into the stands. He comes shooting up right through a popcorn vendor's tray. Daffy spits out popcorn when he speaks. But mommy, I don't want to go to school today. I, I want to stay home and bake cookies with you. Bugs gets an elbow to the head. Ew. Bugs gets an elbow to the gut. Ooh. Bugs gets an elbow to the head. Ooh. Michael scores again. Timeout. Lola comes over to help Bugs. Although nobody's elbowing Bugs anymore, he continues to react as if they were. Uh. Where does it oh. Bugs? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got any more of that special stuff? I think it's wearing off. It didn't wear off. It was just water. You had the special stuff inside you all along. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. He got any more, I'll fuck your... <laughs> hey. uh, Michael shrugs and hands his bottle to Daffy who hits it and passes it to the other. Marvin the Martian runs up to Michael Jordan. I hate to be the bitter of bad news, your highness. But if you don't find a fifth player, you're going to forfeit the game. <laughs> We're outside of a schoolyard, daytime. A bunch of teenagers playing basketball look up in awe at the sight of Charles Barkley approaching. Can I play with y'all? 